the South Bay, west of Los Angeles, California, on the beach, on the waters of the Pacific. The 1950s, where freedom for a young boy was boundless, especially if that young boy was lucky enough to be living right on the golden sand in a place called Hermosa Beach. Pete Thompson was that boy, all of seven years old. He, along with his brothers Ben and Ray and sister Janice, lived this freedom every day. The brothers surfed and swam in their magical front yard any day they could. And as others did the same, a phenomenon was starting to emerge. Surfing. Those who manufactured surfboards hired Ben and Ray and others to join this movement. Their young hands shaped and molded surfboards for what locals said looked like works of art. Surfboards for many years were made of heavy balsa wood. And now they were made from a far lighter foam material long and sleek, colored with patterns and hues which told all those who rode those boards across the blue Pacific waves they were free, completely free. The freedom of the decade of the 50s blended into the 1960s. The surf phenomenon had exploded worldwide and those surf bums Pete's dad complained about had created a multi-million dollar industry. The Ben tells the story of these times, times that were bound to change as all things do. Change, freedoms under assault in Vietnam, accompanied by social upheaval in America, ushered in what some called more freedom, but others knew differently. A war that would change a nation and the world for so many young lives. The lives of three young men of different race and skin color will meet in the crucible of Marine Boot Camp training in the summer of 1969, and each learn one simple truth as they become lifelong brothers. Skin color doesn't mean a damn thing. These three men and their families, living just a few miles apart, might as well have been on different planets. The bed is the story of these three young men and their families. It is a compelling and historical insight into the emergence of the California surf culture and a nation under pressure to re-examine its traditions and values by a new generation. The crowdfunding program on Indiegogo is now live and is asking for donations to get the band re-edited and published anew and redistributed. Please go to the website thebennovel.com or click on the link provided in the description below to learn more about this campaign. Your donations and support are very, very much appreciated.